Good morning, everybody. It is Erin Reed with Erin Reed Vegas. We are up live and bright and early this morning because we are at the Plaid Ambassador Breakfast. I'm a Plaid Ambassador, which basically means that I work with Plaid. I love to try and get their stuff. So we are here before the showroom starts. It is an hour before everything opens, and so we are here with a lot of ambassadors doing our thing. So I'm gonna span the camera around, and they're about to give us a booth tour. And you can see all the amazing people waiting. Let me get close. We really wanted to do our due diligence with this program. We did not want to be a paint company that just came in and we slapped a label on a craft paint and come off as like faux cosplayers. So what we did is we spent the first six to eight months really learning about the community. And luckily for us in Atlanta, Georgia, there are a lot of big cons, the big conventions. We have Dragon Con, we have MomoCon, we have Atlanta Comic Con, and then we have Anime Weekend. So what we did is we exhibited at those shows. We wanted to get our name out there. We wanted to learn about the cosplayers. We wanted to find out what do they need? What kind of products? Because we knew that they were using most of our products anyway, uh, particularly Mod Podge. <coughs> so we really spent the first six months just learning about the community. All the while working with cosplayers, we aligned ourselves with a local cosplayer, um, Emily Schmidt of Go Big Go Home. Emily acted as a consultant, as did Jesse and some of our internal cosplayers. And we just wanted to find out, like, what are the products that you really need? And so the first thing that we found out, which is obvious to any of you that are cosplayers, is foam is the primary substrate that cosplayers are using to make these costumes. So you'll see on this quad right here, everything is made out of EVA foam, with the exception of a little bit of fabric that was used here. So what we found out, people are just using hot paint. They're using whatever paint is available. The problem with that, and I'll show you a little swatch over here as we get closer, is that after, over time, regular hot paint will crack, it will peel, it's not very durable. And because we're a paint company, it seems like a natural uh, partnership that we would go into um, developing a paint specifically for EVA foam. We have a research and development lab in our facility, and we work tirelessly with our lab on coming out with a formula that is specific to EVA foam. So we went through lots of different polymers. We tried polymers that were used for roofing and all kinds of things, and we finally came up with a formula. So that is the anchor of the program. It do, it's flexible, it doesn't crack, it doesn't peel, it's durable, it's got great coverage. And so our FX paint was used on all of these costumes. The color story behind our paint line is we really did a lot of research in what are the costumes that people are making. And they run the gamut from uh, Star Wars to Sailor Moon. And so we really identified four major fandoms, which are sci-fi, fantasy, superhero, comic, and anime. And then under those, you know, there are lots of different categories under each of those fandoms, but we really looked at the colors that were used for those costumes, and we backed into that color story. So the line consists of 80 colors. <laughs> we have smooth satins, we have armor metallics, we have nuclear neons, we have high voltage glitter and we have mutant shifts. <laughs> I try to be creative with the names. And so, like most of our programs, or most of our paint programs, we come out with some brushes and we sat with cosplayers to find out, like, what are the techniques you're really using? Your weathering, your texturing, your washing. And so we really focused on brushes that could create those techniques. You know, really create, just by dabbing and, and washing, you can create a real metallic finish. So we have two uh, skews of uh, brush sets. And then we came out with templates to create, and if you look over here, you can see kind of what the templates do to create either like a dragon, uh, a mermaid, a reptile. And then people like to customize and personalize their costumes. And so we came out with alphabet templates as well. And we did them more in like a comic font or apocalyptic font or a sci-fi font. And then we also have blank template material. We have adhesive and we have just plain mylar. And what's great about that is because so many of 
the costumes are heavily licensed, whether it's Marvel or it's DC. Well, we won't really want to apply for those licenses. <laughs> so that's what's nice about the blank templates is that you can use a Cricut or a die cutting machine and you can do the real Superman logo on your own. So that is the anchor of the pro, that's the breadth of the program. Um, anybody have any questions? Thank you, it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It's, um, it's, it's been very well school. received. <laughs> it will be available at retail um, at the beginning of April. Uh, when we left Atlanta on Thursday, we were starting our actual production, paint production on the line. So we'll be excited to you know, get that in everybody's hands. Yes. 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 about the, the finish. So is it, the, what we're going to talk about is it waterproof once it's dry? Is it more like an acrylic the water cleanup? You know, I would suggest sealing it. I mean, it is very durable. It's not really waterproof. Um, it, no paint really is yeah. unless it's like an outdoor paint. But we suggest sealing it. You could put Mod Podge on top of it. And a hypercross spray. We're actually working on a sealer as a line extension already. <laughs> so that will be coming out. Um, so we water cleanup when you're working with it. Soap and water cleanup. Soap and water cleanup. Yeah, yes. using baby wipes. My okay. yeah. it comes out easily. And we're doing a make it take it here, and so you know, as you're out and about today, come by and see. And can feel it. You know how uh, much earlier we could get it in April? Uh, probably mid February. We're going to try and get it in your hands. Yeah. And I guess is this still top secret, or as of today, are we allowed to start flipping <laughs> this for you guys? It's wide open. <laughs> Yeah, actually, if you go to our Instagram account, um, you'll see we blasted it all day yesterday. So it is wide open. Yeah, I was busy yesterday. Yeah. Which retailers will be carrying it? Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Yeah. So, yeah. Perfect. Amazon, I'm guessing? And we'll have it on Amazon too. So sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah. It's actually very nice. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing that we can get on people. It's a platform to buy. Yeah. 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 I mean, we're excited to get it in your hands. And you know what? It acts like. So when we were working with Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby's designers were playing with it, you know, as they were deciding if they were going to take it. And some of the designers at Hobby Lobby said, "This is our favorite paint. Period. It's not just like for EVA foam." <laughs> Yeah. And you know what? It works great on thermoplastic and uh, 3D printer material as well. I mean, that was part of the objectives. Um, oh, and it works great with fabric as well. Jesse used it. Jesse actually created the Sailor Moon. -ish. Yeah, I mean, do we want to take a quick little preview of these yeah. things? Just, like, just walk around and maybe, Jesse, you could speak to a couple of the techniques. Yeah. Someone did ask me yesterday if it worked on, on toilet plunger material. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know who she is. I mean, they're great projects. I know, I know exactly who you're talking about. That's the first. <laughs> Yeah. No, it was for okay. Mardi Gras. Uh, oddly, I'm thinking Doctor Who. That's my. Yeah. So sorry, there's not a. There isn't a whole lot of room around here, so maybe you just kind of, I don't know, do a quick little circle around the perimeter. But um, yeah, Jesse can point out a few things about this one in particular because she's so, the one who made it. Most of them are made completely with EVA foam. This one is the only one that's got EVA foam. It's got um, fabric, as you can see. And then also I took this piece, I bought this at Purdy City, which is like a king scepter, and I added foam to it. I added the heart foam, and I painted it with the FX paint. And you can see, like, it's very durable. It's not coming off. It's been shipped and packed here. Um, so yeah, it works on plastic, too. I sanded it a little and primed it, but it's super durable. So yeah, this uh, skirt, I took the paint. Mm -hmm. I didn't paint directly on it because I want it to be really smooth. And so I took the paint and I put it into a bucket and I diluted it a little bit and then I just dumped the skirt in, which is like a gross polyester skirt from uh, Amazon. Like it wasn't like a, definitely wasn't like a natural material and it just took the paint super well. I just hung it up and let it dry and this is what it looks like. It just like took evenly. So that's a really cool application too. And so tell me how you put that again. You put it in the water? I diluted the paint just a little bit with water so it was like more of a dye almost. I used it like a dye and then I just dumped that in and just hung it to dry and it just... 
So they I kept all your fleets and everything too, yeah, which is really cool. Fleets, yeah, the fleets are kind of coming out of it just because this is foam around the edge, right. but I kind of wanted it to flare. So right, it works like horse. Yeah, yeah. it was white. Mm -hmm. It was just a white synthetic material. Yeah, you can feel free to love, feel it. Yeah. It's still fairly, I mean, it's still fairly soft. It wasn't that soft yeah. to start. So. Right, and that means you yeah. can sit in it and mm -hmm. everything still. It's yeah. not like exactly. a cone around you. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So, just in the interest of time, we got to keep moving. So, why don't we come back out to the front um, uh, aisle here, and then we can talk about Mod Podge. Mod Podge! <laughs> All right. So, let's talk about Mod Podge. So does everybody use Mod Podge currently? Yes! We love Mod Podge, it's one of our oldest and most beloved brands, in, internally and with all you guys. You always give Mod Podge so much love. Um, so we have five new formulas in Mod Podge this year, which we're super excited about. Most of you probably already know and use Dimensional Magic, mm -hmm. which is like the clear epoxy-like dimensional accent you can um, add. So we, I'm gonna scoot right over here. So we have three new formulas. We have their Carded, same way, so you know what to look for mm -hmm. when you're looking. And there's a gold glitter, a silver glitter, and an iridescent, which Ooh. shifts the kind of four colors. So here's an example of the gold. You can see oh, it's wow. really saturated. Yeah. So we put the tissue on the shell just for fun because the project. Uh, the gold glitter is really wow. beautiful. Silver glitter, also equally stunning. Lots of silver. And then the iridescent, which various things in the booth, but you can kind of see here, so you should so. Thank you. <laughs> Very pretty. And then we also have, so that's fun, Dimensional Magic, so three new formulas, and then we have two new sprays. Our sprays have done great. So we have two new um, uh, iridescent sealers, we call them. So one is, will look like this, and it shifts from gold to green, or green no. to gold, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> really pretty. Ooh, and an awesome one. Here's a great ah. example. Ooh, wow. <laughs> so you can see it really is beautiful. So the kind of gold to green shift, really nice. Super easy, just spray it out. And then um, we also have an iridescent one, which is like a four color shift. So these are a little more, a little bit. It, you can see the full rainbow here. Yeah. yeah. So and then Kira can talk about, some of these projects are so cool. I know you guys will, under, will love how they remain. Here's the um, Gold Dimensional Magic too. It's really dimensional. You can see it great in that aspect. So where's Kira? Oh, well, <laughs> I'll tell you because I know. <laughs> <laughs> like this coral is just so cool because the whole theme of the booth she was telling you about. So this coral used packing peanuts. And so, <laughs> and then they put tissue, they used Ultra, Mod Podge Ultra, and put tissue around it and then made the coral, which is just oh, awesome. This is made out of, I believe, tin foil, um, and then they painted it with the gold. Really cool. They had this old lace and paper. They made the coral here. It's just so interesting how they found everything. And then this is ultra with sand on the bottle here. It's really cool. So, really fun. Check it out in detail. You'll see all the finishes. And let's go to the other side here. <laughs> An Ultra launched last year, so many of you may know about Ultra, but because it um, is still really new, not everyone has embraced Ultra yet. Um, so we highly encourage you, if you haven't tried it, to get out and try it. Um, it's available in four and eight ounce and matte and gloss. It's amazing. So we, Debbie mentioned earlier the consumer research that we do. One of the main um, comments we get when we do research about Mod Podge is consumers wanted a spray formula. For years and years and years, they've asked about it. And so we delivered last year. Um, so it's very different if you typically use traditional Mod Podge, it's so thick and you brush it on. So instinctually you'd like, there's no way this can work because it's so thin. Um, but it is amazing how it works, especially with fine tissues and papers um, uh, and napkins. Um, it works so great because it's thin and um, works the same way. It's a sealer, a glue and sealer all in one. And so all these projects were made using um, Ultra. So if you haven't tried it yet, be sure to. Uh -huh. It's great with diamond art. For oh yeah, time. for sealing it on top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's great. Where I use it. it keeps it Perfect. Yeah. And it's easy so just spray it on. Yeah, awesome. So we just wanted to have a booth. Um, since it's still new, we wanted to feature that too. I love. They use the sand and Ultra on to create all of this like beach look. But on the table, the whole terrazzo kind of style here going on. 
They use cheap, I just think this is the coolest thing, cheap um, school folders, plastic folders, oh, like oh the El Cheapo gosh. ones, and just cut them in shapes and then altered it down. Wow. That's <laughs> so cool and it looks fabulous. That's awesome. They're so creative. Anyway, that's the new stuff in Mod Pods. That's if you so have cool. any questions, hit me up. I'll be here. And thanks for being such a supporter of the brand. We appreciate all of you. Turn this way then. Right. I'm Carl. Uh, I work with a great team back at Plaid uh, that develops all of our branded paints. Um, and our newest paint this year is Folk Art Pure Pigment. Thank you. Uh, the whole idea behind Pure Pigment is it's a it's a artist pigment. It's the basic colors that artists need to have to create their own colors. So you know Folk Art. Folk Art has hundreds of you know already made colors. This is for an artist that wants to learn about color theory and learn about how to mix their own colors. A couple of the features about Pure is just how thick and rich it is. Here's your... It's incredibly thick, heavy body paint. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Almost the consistency of an oil paint, you might say. Um, the other feature that we worked on here is uh, extended uh, workability time. So, you know, you can't really say depending on where you're at, how long that workability time is. But I can say that back in the office, we've had a, a, a blob, technical term for it, um, <laughs> out there. And the next morning, you can kind of work back into it, and it's still workable. So, you know, it, it, the dry time is increased. Yeah, workability, dry time, yeah, same, same kind of thing. Um, it's a great flexible paint because it is so heavily pigmented and so full bodied. You can do everything from, you know, impasto work where you're doing texture to uh, a wash where you're washing it out and you're doing almost more of a watercolor. So um, we're really excited about it. We have a whole e-commerce program uh, with Andy behind it. So I'll, teach, I'll show you about that uh, back in the back of the booth. But there's 20 colors, you know, your basic um, pigmented, pigment colors. Uh, for artists and this will be available in march sometime basically like if i don't i love doing oil colors but i don't love doing oil colors around my children with all the smell you're the, this is a good you're the perfect yep that. yes this okay. is a perfect alternative to that it's still an acrylic paint but it's got a full body and yeah, yeah. it can behave like oil without all the rules <laughs> you got it Walking around, or where are we going next? Well, we can come around here and we can just talk about the uh, creative a little bit, and then we'll talk about Treasure Gold. Um, as far as the creative is concerned, what they their their reuse this year this section is old canvases. So they went and found uh, old canvases at thrift stores and the like uh, of older style artwork, and then you see the picture or the painting on the front uh, by Andy. That's kind of a modern take on the same theme. So just a uh, a really neat way to to reuse. So behind us is Treasure Gold. Treasure Gold. <laughs> Treasure Gold we launched last year in just uh, gold tones, and we worked real hard with the lab. Uh, Paul's here, our, our VP of R and D, worked really hard with the lab uh, to use those same pigments to create all of these colors. So we have 12 new colors, and last year we said this was the perfect gold paint. Now we say it's the perfect metallic paint. I mean, uh, the depth that you see in this paint, uh, the reflectivity in the paint is, is just uh, absolutely amazing. Everybody loves it. So uh, we've got 12 colors coming out in four ounce. Uh, we also have uh, four colors coming out, five colors coming out uh, in the card in two ounce. And again, that, that's about the same March time frame. Question, are they, uh, they're all called Treasure Gold, so you refer to it as Treasure Gold Bronze? Yes. That's because of Treasure yeah, Bronze? the whole line's okay. called Treasure Gold, okay, even, even though they're not all gold tones. <laughs> <laughs> I said Treasure Metallics if we started there, but. This is our secret weapon. That's our secret. Yeah, right. That's our secret. And he is our Vice President of Technology and Quality Control. Thanks. Um, he and his team are, you know, we come to him and say, we have this idea, do you think you could do this? And he looks at us and he's like, if we could see his mind <laughs> going, and he's like, well, let me work on that a little bit, so. Yeah. <laughs> come around here. Um, our next section is Color Shift. Everybody knows Color Shift and loves Color Shift. Uh, everybody is... You know, it's just been selling very well for us. Uh, color shift's a little different. In folk art, we can kind of almost make any color we want. 
Uh, with these kind of pigments, we're kind of limited to all the great pigments that Paul can, can find. And what we found this year was a new white and a new silver. And it's, I think it's something people really have <coughs> been wanting out of this line. Uh, we just hadn't been able to get there till this year. So uh, those are the two new colors we're going to be launching in uh, two ounce and, and four ounce as well. So. I like that it's coming in a bigger bottle. Space yeah, skin. yeah. <laughs> I think there's been a lot of people asking for that. And then behind you is is Dragonfly Glaze. Uh, Dragonfly Glaze, we don't have new colors this year necessarily, but it's just such a hot product uh, we wanted to feature at, at, at the show again. And for those of you that aren't as familiar with Dragonfly Glaze, it's, a, it's more of a top coat. It's not necessarily a paint. Um, and the one thing you should know when you're using it is it goes on, um, uh, doesn't go on clear at first. So it goes on, it looks kind of uh, uh, milky at first, and then it dries crystal clear, and then you see all the, all the great pigment in it. Uh, and it reacts differently on different colors. So most of this is on dark colors, but you can do it on light colors, you can do it on complementary colors, uh, and it has just a different effect uh, on everything you do. Uh, these are all just made out of cardboard and corrugate. So, <laughs> They're so um, cool. Just amazing. Yeah, just amazing <laughs> projects. Yeah. Here, a pipe in anything. Yeah. Want so to, so. Um, these frames, like, sorry, um, these frames were just matte black frames, and then this is just the dragonfly right over it. You can see the beautiful detail. Again, Jesse made all of these bugs. Um, the entomology is so trendy right now. So we're like, how do we bring this into the mm -hmm. whole reclaim, recycle, relove? So you can see these are all cardboard. We've got the light bulbs. And then even the dragonfly on the furniture. So typically we put it over black, but you could do it over light colors. And then this is just over um, a green. So you can see the difference it kind of takes on. Again, everybody knows Glitterific. Everybody knows and loves Glitterific. Uh, we launched Glitterific, I think, uh, two years ago, maybe two years ago, with all kinds of great colors, uh, about 20 different colors. Last year, our big launch was Glitterific Neon, and, and everybody loved that. So this year, we're launching Glitterific Icons. So we have hearts and moons and stars, uh, butterflies. It's like the lucky charms of lucky charms of Glitterific, <laughs> uh, as well as polka dots. So we have four SKUs, four items um, of icons and six items of polka dots and just everybody knows how hot polka dots are so uh, the great thing about glitterific is i've, I've, I've had have people walking by saying i hate glitter just because they hate how it, it's stuck everywhere with this you don't have loose glitter so it's stuck in the paint uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna have it all over your house that's one of the great benefits besides how awesome it looks and it doesn't shed no it doesn't right. shed right. <laughs> I guess we'll go out to the outside first. Uh, this is our neon black light paint. Uh, I'm sorry, Kira. I keep not. I keep not talking about the project. So. so we have eight colors here. We have two new colors. We have a red and an orange yellow that will be new this year. And talk about the projects because they're awesome. So, um, Sherry, one of our designers, created this. Again, these are cardboard boxes, and these are just re purposed bottles. So we painted them with the new colors. On this one, you can see the orange and the red. These are soda bottles, pop bottles, just spray bottles, and then we painted them. Stuck them under the black light. And this is amazing. So this is actually aquarium tubing. And Sherry took and put the neon paint in it and basically blew it through the tube and then created the neon oh, yeah, to make us sign. So that's <laughs> so cool. such a great technique. Like, it's amazing. These are our bottles. So these are Mod Pod, Folk Art bottles. Um, so just a really fun and glow parties are so popular yeah. right now. So it's just a cool way to display it and show it off. Yeah, and there's, a, there's like, I have little kids and there's like monster golf, these like, Mini golf places yes. that have all the black yeah. and you the can make little favors for the kids. And yeah, it's bring getting them. really big in yeah. costuming yeah. too, having things yeah. glow and convention yeah. lighting. Yeah. Yeah. And then again, it's just so like cool. on the plastic, on the cardboard, on the wood. So it's not to glow in the dark. Yeah. It works with neon. Black, black light. Black light. Got it. That's what I meant. Black light. Light. I'm not awake this morning. <laughs> it's confusing. That's You're a good like, question well. now because this wouldn't respond to, to glow in the dark. Yeah. yeah. Without the light, it just is yeah. kind of neon bright color. Mm -hmm. And then with the black light, it so I mean, it's still a really bright color. Yeah. Still looks cool. Awesome. All right. You want to come around this side? Now I need to buy a black light. <laughs> I have a blacklight. <laughs> you can even get blacklight flashlights. You can. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. There have been some oh, super over here. cool photo shoots of people covering themselves in this paint and then like whatever in this paint doing like, like, like can, you, can you look really good? Can you put it on your body? Yeah, it really it does. does. The neon paint? Can it go on skin? We cannot say that. Okay, you can't say that. Oh, okay. 
uh, because we don't have the FDA kind of approval. Got it. Got okay. it. Um, I need to see people so trying. Everybody sure. knows the whole <laughs> pouring trend. Uh, my feed, I can't tell you. My whole feed on Facebook is pouring, so uh, I don't think that's just me. <laughs> I think it's uh, trending everywhere. Uh, so we are launching a new line of uh, folk art pouring paint. So it's already pre-mixed with the medium. Oh, nice. You don't have to mess with all of that. And did I do it right? Did I mix it right? You know, and so we have 13 colors, including uh, two metallics. And in addition to that, you know, if this isn't your colorway, if, that, if you can't find what you want there, you can always just use our pouring medium to mix with any one of our acrylic paints, and that'll turn it into a pouring paint. And, and the whole idea behind the medium is it keeps it from mixing together, keeps it from getting muddy. You guys know, you know that drill. So, and this was a different take on pouring too, something else they're doing with it. So, in addition to just pouring on canvases, people are doing decor and three items. So the dresser drawers we poured, we used the pouring medium and folk art paint and created our own colors. But then people are doing paint skins. I don't know how I'm talking to you here, I'm just gonna talk. Yeah. <laughs> In my back to everybody. But so, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's basically the leftover paint from a pouring or they're mm -hmm. actually creating a pouring in a pan or on wax paper mm -hmm. and then they're creating art out of it. So this lampshade was wrapped with a paint skin. And they're calling it paint skin, which is kind of, we're like, is that the right word? It's kind of gross, but that's what it is if you, you know, Pinterest or Google. So this lampshade, and then this is also paint skins, and these were just, then we took our stencils and made a pattern and cut them out. So the same with the leaves. This guy was wrapped in a paint skin, these leaves. Um, so just a different way. So you're, one, you're not being wasteful, you're using all your so product, and just a cool different technique than just pouring on. You have a lot more control with yeah. it. So you can kind of cut your pattern out that you want. So just cool. a really fun, and again, this dresser, just a white Ikea dresser, <coughs> folk art, um, and then poured the drawers. So. And then right behind you here is our stencil wall. Uh, we have over 200 SKUs of stencils, uh, everything from you know, cute puppies to fonts to mailbox letter stencils, um, everything you could want in um, adhesive stencils. Uh, most of them are laser cut, so you have all kinds of great fine detail. Um, the newer ones are the Martha, or, I'm sorry, not Martha, uh, Hallmark stencils up on the top left. Uh, we did show them last year, but uh, what's distinct about them is that these are Hallmark design fonts. So fonts are huge everywhere, mm -hmm. but they're usually kind of the same kind of stuff you could find on your computer. Mm -hmm. These were handcrafted and hand developed uh, by the Hallmark folks. Yeah. And again, so books, um, books are becoming a new surface for crafters and makers like so it's not just canvas it's not just wood it's not just paper they're actually using books to create on so we've been seeing a ton of these wall displays so we're like well, we're going to use our stencils and talk about our our theme so these are books and then we just stencil right on them with folk art and then also people are using the pages as um, paper instead of scrapbook paper they're just getting old books and tearing them out so we did the base deck with books and we actually use the Mod Podge Ultra that you guys saw, so it works really, really well um, this technique. This is an, an example of this, we're actually teaching this painting class here in the booth, so just another cool idea for, um, yeah, just found objects that you have either lying around or at Goodwill or what have you. Yeah. Okay, back here. Um, we're coming out with some new tools for you all. Uh, we've had our wood burners out there for a while and everybody loves the wood burner. Uh, these are two new tools. Uh, one of them is the engraver. It uh, comes with uh, five different tips, five different engraving tips. It's battery driven. It's got the batteries in there for you. And all of these projects were done with that engraver uh, by hand. Uh, the other one is the hot knife. So the hot knife is great for cutting things like pumpkins uh, as well as cutting any kind of plastic bottle or those types of things. So it's basically a really hot uh, exacto knife <laughs> foam plastic for costumes too. yeah EVA yeah. foam every, everything yeah mm -hmm. yeah and again this is a lot of thrifting and you can no you're totally fine so you can see just all the old glassware the decanter the vase it's great on wood metal like Carl said that's a wine glass that we cut and then just etched on it directly it's great for personalizing and then again, the hot knife for plastic, like what a great way to do. You could do like a whole wall of the bottles and then you could even paint them. So it's a really versatile, versatile they, tool. They keep referring to things as old, making <laughs> me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> vintage. You're vintage. Yeah. There you go, retro. I don't know if it's fair to have a favorite, but this might be my favorite uh, <laughs> section in the booth. 
Uh, we're featuring here our wood burner. We've had that wood burner out for uh, at least a season now, and it's a variable temperature wood burner. Uh, comes with, uh, I think it was 11 different tips, so you can do all kinds of different things with it. That one really has everything from soldering to wood burning to transfer, every, everything uh, in one. The new one this year is the leather branding tool, and you see all the tips that it comes with here. And everything that you can do on leather is just absolutely amazing, from jewelry to decor. Is there a large difference between the actual tools for those? The biggest difference is the wood burner has the variable temperature, so you can control it for all these different uses. Uh, and the leather branding is just a one temperature, one temperature tool. And then the other tool is the hot foil pen. So the hot foil pen, uh, again, is a battery driven. It comes with six small foil sheets, kind of tester sheets, and it's used to put uh, detail on, like you see here, on the wood, on paper, on all kinds of different surfaces. And it works with the transfer paper that's out there, you know, already at retail, but it gives you a few trial sheets to, to play with to start with. Mm -hmm. And all these tools will be available in the market in, in May time. Good, good, good. Good, good, okay. good. Should we introduce Andrea. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Good. Yeah. This is one of, this is my favorite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks different from anything else on the floor. Uh, this is, the, I want to talk to you about Bucilla, introduce you to Bucilla. Um, Bucilla has been around for 150 years, just about as old as I am. <laughs> <laughs> I preserve well, just, just like Bucilla. Um, <laughs> Bucilla um, um, is not just, it's an heirloom that people save and keep, and if you're a lover, it's a lover of uh, labor that people put their time and effort into for family members, extended families, new babies, it goes on and on and on. Pull up my tree uh, scout every year, it's out every year, it has those little animals on it too from mm -hmm. the tree scout from ages ago. It's a tried and true tradition, the people that, that who stitch it, that pass down from generation to generation. And what we've uh, seen in the last uh, couple of uh, years is uh, needlework and applique stitching is trending again and it's becoming cool again to stitch yay right yeah. <laughs> and um i just wanted to let you know that um we have a new facebook group that's been uh, up and running here yeah, up and running for uh, about uh eight months and i encourage you to join it's the official Busilla Facebook group and the ladies are very engaging and they're fun and they get their comment and we also have uh, they also do tutorials on the Facebook group so if you want to learn how to stitch uh, education um, how many of you stitch all right oh. more than that not um, so and how many would you like to be learn how to stitch Oh, come on! Oh, come on. It's, it's, it's very fun. easy. We have a video online that uh, teaches you how to applique, and we'll be more than happy to get you our kits in your hands so you can learn how to stitch because it's very therapeutic and it's very um, um, history has shown that it uh, relieves stress. Um, so um, we'll be happy to give you uh, any kits that you need. Also, um, if any of you are interested in um, um, Bucilla and um, letting me show you uh, uh, more in detail all the designs that we have, uh, just come back and talk to me. We come out with over 100 new designs a year and various different themes, not just uh, Santa and Snowman. We have different uh, uh, trend themes like mermaid and uh, uh, fairy tale princess and cowboys and um, uh, we have a camo Santa, and so it's a, it's a, yeah, this is a kit, this is a new kit, well, I was just going to say we do everyday felt also, so um, this is a kit that just came out in November, so it's really cool. Actually, we are coming okay, out with good. a uh, uh, space. I have an outer space child. All right. <laughs> and what we do is when you get on Facebook and you send in your ideas, we, we listen. We have a, 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 someone who answers all the questions yeah. and um, interests. And we do look at, see what people are talking about in the community. So we are coming out with a space. And it's coming out in May. It's going to be a stocking, Santa in space, and it's going to be oh, it's going to be oh, it's going to be ornament. So if you're interested in seeing what the design looks like, 
I'll, I can show you later. I'll we can, by. we can talk. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for stopping by. And um, the elves are back in Atlanta working their hearts out to, to get you more new stuff. All right. You have any okay. questions? All right. Love the group. When can you get it? You know, a lot of us. It's available now. It's available now. Live, so, so anything you're interested in, wanting to want to stitch, we can send you. Oh, Oh, I love these. Everything you need to complete uh, the beads. Yeah. Yeah. I need this mermaid. They're beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to make that mermaid. <laughs> <That's exactly laughs> I, like I, I want that one. Mermaid is coming out at the end of January. What about all the ornaments? The ornaments? Yeah, those are, yeah, the, that's the kit. You get everything you need in the kit. Okay. You got it. We'll take your names and we'll get it. For the stockings too. Yeah, all of it. I made a tree skirt that had those animals like the Noah's Ark right out of college. And I sat there while I was looking for a job and job hunting, and I have, and it's still the tree skirt we use today. And it's still intact. <laughs> it looks like oh my god. The exception of my cat threw up on it. <laughs> all right, we got more going on. Oh, we got more. We got more. Sorry, people's butts. Just don't want filming people. <laughs> I just got your butt on camera. <laughs> All right. So Martha, Martha, Martha. So we have um, some new things to tell you about in Martha we're excited about. Um, all of you guys are probably familiar with the previous or the existing Martha craft product. We have paint and stencils and tools, all the beautiful tools she has. Um, so now we have a brand new line of paint. We call it family friendly and um, it's CPSIA certified. So what that means is it goes through additional testing, like all our all our paints in our booth and all our Martha products specifically is um, tested to be AP certified say, non-toxic. Um, but we do additional testing for this particular line so that you can be used with children and it's completely safe. All our paint is, but we go through the extra uh, testing so that we can legally say that. So that's really great. So a lot of people are enjoying that, um, doing family projects, showing kids, actually helping to craft, which is great. A lot of paint on the market for kids is like cheap, more value priced. So it's not the best paint, not the best coverage. Well, this is the exact same quality um, as our current Martha paint. It just goes through the additional testing. So it's really great. You can look for it <clears throat> at the store in this little um, icon here there's a heart with a family inside so that's kind of gives you the because you know when it's all there together in the store so that's how you can know and we have 60 different satins and various colors the um one thing too the stripes on the label one one way you can recognize it too in addition to the heart but we have 60 different colors of satins we have metallic we have pearls all kinds of super fun glitters glitter mixes here like super fun some have hearts some have stars some have random crazy glitter, um, so it's great. And then we have a few stencils that are also um, CPSIA compliant. So they've also been tested, So and they're adhesive, which is great. And then in addition to our new beautiful color line, um, which the CPSIA color line is a little brighter than the traditional Martha. So, um, the traditional Martha is just beautiful and tonal and gorgeous. We have a lot of fun poppy colors in this line too, which is great. Um, so. Um, it is just launching on Amazon Ooh. as we speak. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no! Craft emergency! <laughs> get some Mod Podge on it. <laughs> Mod Podge. Yeah, somebody go get the Mod Podge. Um, so it's just launching, I know a lot of you guys do the affiliate links and all that, um, so it's just launching on Amazon. We have four kits, um, the regular Martha and the CPSIA Martha. So we have four kits and open stock launching and then we have more kits planned for next month and next month. So through March there'll be new things so you guys can look forward and talk to Shauna and do your linking and all that kind of stuff. So we're excited. There's a postcard here that talks a little bit more about everything. So if you have any questions, let me know. Happy to help. Awesome. All right, Delta. Uh, for all the Delta loyalists out there that love Delta, um, we've you know had Delta under our line now for I think six or seven years, and I mean we do want to get the message out that the Delta quality is back. You know, uh, for a little while there, there was a question about the quality. When we took it back over, we got the original formulas. So the product is back to the quality that it was before. Uh, we're adding new products into Delta. We have four new colors this year, uh, as well as Cosmoglaze in Delta and 
litter explosion in Delta, and then a couple of new sets. And you're going to see a lot of sets throughout here. Um, these sets are all going to be available on POL. Uh, they'll probably also all be available on Amazon at some point. So um, between that and the e-commerce kits that I'm showing you over here, great opportunity for you guys to do your affiliate links and make a little money. So uh, that's Delta Ceramco. And then Apple Barrel. Uh, everybody's family fun paint here, Apple Barrel. Uh, we have four new colors in Apple Barrel Gloss, uh, as well as some new paint sets in Apple Barrel. So, you know, you know Apple Barrel is kind of our, our, uh, our entry level um, family, mm -hmm. family fun craft paint, but it's really good quality for entry level. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really, really great coverage, really great color. So it's nothing, nothing's been skimped here, that's for sure. And then this is all of our folk art sets that we're launching this year. So we have sets with all the specialty paints, with the icons and the neons and the metallics, color shift. And then we have uh, colorways here too. So, you know, one, one idea would be for you guys to create projects with different colorways and then link to these sets so the consumers can just buy a set. They don't have to sit there and pick the colors. They don't have to worry about any of that. You've done that for them. And real quick, I'm just going oh, to yeah. speak to that. That's okay. So um, kind of starting at Delta, so Delta was probably my most fun to shop and thrift for and to find all the busts. So it's such a big trend. And so we really had fun finding like the creepiest face and the coolest animal. <laughs> and it was really fun to turn those objects into pieces of art. And with the Delta, you know, the color palette and all the specialty, it was just a really great fun display. Um, I know his name is Bruce, this monkey, by the <laughs> way, he's everyone's favorite. Um, and then Apple Barrel. So this was our take on, you know, family friendly. And we're really seeing a ton of this technique, like very, very high end designers are taking objects and sticking them on lamps and furniture and, you know, painting them. So, you know, we have the lamp, the letters, the game pieces. So, and down here you can see the detail of the toys, very Toy Story coming up the table. Um, this is just like really, really fun. But again, these, these lamps are selling for thousands of dollars. So to be able to get this with Apple Barrel on our product line is amazing. Blue first, paint second? Yes, blue first, paint second. Yeah, cute. So, yeah, it was really fun to do. And then, you know, like these are our surfaces and um, they're just really fun to, to make. Dump your kids' toy bin on the floor. Again, we were like on Facebook and posting, like, I need your old toys. I, no more Legos. I need Barbie parts. So it was really fun. I'm cleaning my kids' playroom from now on. I know. But you can go to the thrift store and buy like a bag for like three dollars of like the that's most random, and you're like, I'm just getting germs touching me. Uh -huh. but, yes, that's yeah, that's Yes. Yeah. Dunk. Yep. And then the paint sets. Um, so we wanted to incorporate cardboard boxes. So, you know, like Debbie mentioned, everyone's doing online shopping your whole Christmas. What do you do with all these boxes? So, I mean, these are literally boxes we ripped up, cut apart. Um, this is actually Carl's furniture box. There was a big hit in the craft room. Um, so covered the table and then just the pops of the colors and how well it worked with the cardboard. Just really fun. We covered the lamp and packing tape and then painted it. So just great different techniques that you can do. And if you want to look at this side of the aisle, um, this is our whole Let's Paint program. We're really excited about this program for a lot of reasons, but uh, we had our Let's Paint program this year that you, uh, hopefully you guys all watched along with us throughout the year. Uh, we had Andy's studio lessons and we had Donna's flower of the month. We taught over 400,000 lessons, 400,000 views. That's so, amazing. I mean, it's all about inspiring them, but that's not enough. We need to teach them how to get there too. Yeah. You know, we don't want them to be inspired but not get the result. So this is all about getting the result as well. So this year, uh, we have a new program. Uh, this is gonna be Andy's program. It's Color Lessons with Pure Pigment. So it's okay. using the Pure Pigment product. Okay. He's gonna have 12 different programs, throughout, or 12 different paintings throughout the year. This drops in March. So he'll do one painting uh, per, per month, full 45 minute to an hour lesson online. And if you guys haven't watched Andy, I mean, I can paint this and I'm not an artist. I mean, Andy just knows how to get you there. You know, he, he's, he's just uh, amazingly talented. Uh, along with all the online uh, videos, which are free, 
uh, our kits that we'll be selling. So we have a whole pure pigment kit here, uh, along with a color lesson plan uh, to teach you how to mix colors and, and color theory. So that's a great opportunity. I think this kit was about $89 retail. So if you think of your affiliate link <laughs> with that on Amazon, yeah. that, that would be great for you. Um, we also have some new brushes that Andy has been asking for for quite a long time. This is like Andy's dream product line right here. <laughs> um, these are synthetic brushes, but they're a little bit more of a firm, um, firm uh, bristle. bristle. Thank you. And it's just perfect for how thick and rich uh, Pure is. We also have this silicon mat uh, that Andy developed for us that helps teach you color theory and gives you a place to uh, try out all your different colors and mixing different tones, different shades of color. And then this packet will be all of his lesson plans uh, together. So the biggest thing is the starting point is that intimidation of a blank canvas. So if we give him the lesson plans, this has you know this has a full size sheet in here that gives you that design and you can transfer the design onto your palette um, I mean onto your canvas so so that'll all be available that's going to start dropping in March the next part of it uh, is Donna's wreath of the month so last year she had flower of the month uh, this year she's having a wreath of the month we're going to actually sell the surfaces as well so you see the nice. the oval uh, round and square um, wreaths that we'll be selling the cool thing about the wreaths is we thought it through that you can, you can use them on your door, and that's why they're the size they are, because we wanted to have a nice size to it. Um, but you can also use them in decor, you can use them on your mantle, you can use them in different places. This one is made so it can hang horizontally, or it can hang uh, vertically. And the, the point Very of the smart. holes is, you can put the ribbons through it, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and hang it whichever which way you want to hang it. Um, so Donna will, again, have... 12 programs throughout the year with the wreath of the month plus every quarter she'll do a wrap up uh, where she's going to probably take one of the wreaths during that quarter and talk about embellishing it with letters and, and ribbon and, and other types of things maybe some birds and, and insects and other things that she's great with and then she'll have a kit behind it so this is a different kit than last year uh, but this kit has treasure gold in it uh, a little bit of a different color palette some different sponging tools uh, the coveted Donna hand-painted and signed a notebook that she <laughs> does all of these for us. Uh, and then, of course, our reusable teaching guides. So the full collection of reusable teaching guides. So I want to make that point, too, that the, lesson, the studio lessons from last year are still out online forever. You know, and the kits are still available forever. So if you want to reference that and not wait for this full year to come out, you can work from last year's because it's really better anyways when, when they're watching them and they can pause and they can rewind and all that good stuff. Same with Donna. Donna's Flower of the Month is still uh, out there from last year. And those videos are out there and the kits are still available. Do you want to talk about uh, Let's Paint Live? So that's the third leg to this is Let's Paint Live. Yeah, so if you haven't um, tuned into our Let's Paint Live, um, I encourage you all to do so. It is the first Thursday of every month. And Jessie is um, typically our teacher. You met her um, in the booth. And we teach you to paint in a painting about an hour. So it's kind of that take on like the sip and stroke and that. So it's really um, a great way to do it in your home. You know, you can watch it on demand. You can go back, play, rewind, pause, like Carl said, on all the lessons. And it's just a really fun way to do different subject matter. We've been doing it for over two years now. Uh, we've done canvas. We've done tote bags. We just did ornaments at Christmas. Which were really popular so um, it's just a great program we get a great ton of comments um, and you know um, interaction with our viewers painting along with us and then this is brand new um, for this year is we're actually Carl's team has put together a kit that so you can either buy your paint you know we put out the list you know one month before so you can get your supplies and be ready if you're going to paint along live but now there's actually a kit and all the paintings for the rest of the year will use these colors Smart. so you buy this kit you have it every month you pull it out either on that thursday or you don't have time till the weekend or you get your you know friends over um so this is a really great addition to the program that everything is right there for you Right, we were even had people talking about if they had five people over you could share a kit even. yeah mm -hmm. of course we wanted to buy five kids but, yeah. you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sharing is caring. And then the last part over here, thank you, thank you, Karen. Yeah, is, let me... is, is kind of a retail version of of our Let's Paint program. And what it is is kind of bringing paint by number uh, more modern. So we're calling it modern paint by number. <coughs> what it is is a wood canvas. So it's a 12 by 12 wood canvas, which is already kind of a more modern, 
you know, format for people that people are really loving. Um, and it comes with the template already printed on the canvas. So in that regard, it's kind of like your traditional paint by number. <laughs> so your first step is, and it doesn't come with any of the paints or any of that, that's driving the, the paint purchases from what the retailers already have in stock. So the first step is painting in just like you would a paint by number. So you're just filling in the solid blocks. And that's kind of where paint by number let off traditionally. But now we're going to have an hour long lesson uh, online that's going to teach you kind of the rest of it. You know, teach you some techniques, teach you some brush strokes, teach you kind of step by step how to get here. So you're not you're not left with paint by number that maybe you don't want to put on your wall. You're left with something that, that you're going to be more proud of. Uh, this is new for the show. It doesn't have a sponsor yet, but it's getting a lot of really good attention. So we think we'll see this at retail next year. I think we're going to go around here and just talk about um, our classrooms and what we're going to be doing during the show. I'm going to spin around over here. Okay, so that is plaid. Not necessarily in a nutshell. I mean, that was a nice long guided tour from the people who work at Plaid. They're talking about what's happening at the show, but I have to jet because I have to teach a uh, demo here in about five minutes. So I gotta go over to where my booth is where I'm doing my make and takes. But I hope you enjoyed a lot of what Plaid has to offer. There's so many different products to the Bustilla that's behind me, to all the folk arts, you know, the Martha Stewart, the stencils that are right here. I mean, all of the cosplay stuff. There are so many different products that Plaid has. And I get the amazing opportunity to be a Plaid ambassador. So I got invited to this breakfast this morning before the show opened. I mean, this is the show's not officially open for another. Uh, so you find nine minutes. <laughs> this is a lovely Shauna. She is, helps Hi. me be my amazing ambassador self and helps us do all of our because wonderful we things. We love you. <laughs> oh, thank you. We love what you. We love what you do, and we want to work with you. Well, that's so, what we're here for, right? And y'all love her too, right? She's great. <laughs> So I totally like bombed her on that one. She just happened to walk by. I'm like, snag. <laughs> All right. So I will be back later with some more fun videos as the day goes along. I know you guys have suggested some videos and I will do my best to get to those booths. I'm doing lots of make and takes, but if I don't get it today, but I will de definitely get it tomorrow. So bye for now. Bye everybody.